Guys, I am finally making this video. I kept pushing it off because my period is still a big struggle for me. But let's get to the bottom of what happened, why I lost my period, what made it worse, what were the health implications to this, what I've been doing to address my period problem, as well as tips for anyone going through a similar situation because I know it's hard. Trust me, I've tried basically everything. Hormone pills, birth control, all types of herbs, massages, acupuncture, food remedies, lots to cover. Let's jump right in. I can't believe I am giving the entire history of my Jupiter and Lion shedding on the internet. Had no zero period. Not tell you how hopeless I felt. So if you're gonna take one thing away from this video, Okay, for those who might not understand why not having a period is such a big issue, let me throw in all the visible damages my loss of period has done to my body over the past four years. First, my bone density is really low. That's why my weight is so low, meaning I could get osteoporosis. Second, I used to have really thick and healthy hair that is now like super thin. Can you see this bald spot? I'm not kidding. I have to vacuum my apartment twice a week because A, LA is kind of dirty and B, I shed like crazy. So I felt a need to cut my hair to preserve some energy. Third, it really hit me when I started thinking, oh my god, if this goes on forever, I might not be able to get pregnant one day if I actually want to. Like, I might not be able to start a family on my own, which is really scary. So let's backtrack my period history, and trust me, it's a long one. I can't believe I am giving the entire history of my uterine line shedding on the internet, but hopefully this is helpful for you guys. It all started in 2017. I had my period in April and that was basically the last of it. What happened here is that after an entirely crappy freshman year at UCLA, I got basically no sleep at all because of the dorm situation. My body was literal shit. I broke out to the point that my mom couldn't even recognize me at the airport. I hit my peak weight. I had insomnia. Great. <laughs> Not a surprise that I also lost my period. What probably exacerbated the situation is that because I was at my peak weight at the beginning of the year, I started trying to lose weight. The good approach I took was starting to go to the gym, but during summer school when I had to cook for myself, I literally starved myself by making like one or two chicken drumsticks a day plus some kale, maybe some rice. That's it. Like, yeah, I did lose a ton of weight at the time, but A, it was terrible for my already gone period, and B, weight loss through starving killed my metabolism. So once I began eating normal again, my weight just skyrocketed. Like I said in my, if you're not losing weight, watch this video. Starvation is never the way to go. It doesn't work and it really damages your body. Don't do it. Since we're on the topic of the importance of eating and staying energized, I'd like to thank our sponsor today, Verb Energy Bars. The bars are infused with organic green tea. Each bar has the same amount of caffeine as an espresso, but without the crash or jitters after. Mm. This tastes exactly like a vanilla latte. So yummy. Each bar is low in sugar, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and just 90 calories, providing a great source of energy and keeping you revitalized for the day. The trial kit gives you the opportunity to try their top four flavors, blueberry crisp, double chocolate, salted peanut butter, and peppermint mocha. This is double chocolate, my favorite out of the four. Super rich in flavors and not too sweet. Just a super convenient grab and go snack. Verb has a really awesome free trial pack where you can try their top four flavors for just the cost of shipping, which is under a dollar. You can use the link in my description to claim this offer. Then five months after I got a period in September, 2017, it was basically a fake period. I love LA. It was more like me going to the hospital and got prescribed progestin and got my medically induced period. What progestin is, is that basically you take this hormone pill for 10 days straight and then three days after you stop taking this pill, your period will come. At the hospital, I got my ultrasound, I got my blood work. 
everything was normal yes my hormones were a little low but the ultrasound seemed fine and in case if you also have amenorrhea like me it's just a medical term for the absence of menstruation definitely seek medical help as soon as you can to get those like ultrasound and blood tests done to see if you can figure out the root cause but for me like it was just really really hard to figure out what the root cause was so i got prescribed progestin for two months worth of supply got my period for two months and as soon as i stopped taking it it was all gone again and this time it was already my sophomore year at ucla if you think i learned anything from my terrible first year rooming experience is that i freaking didn't i don't know what was wrong with me but i still lived in a triple with two other roommates who do not sleep until 4 or 5 a.m in the morning meaning i would not be able to fall asleep until they do meaning i still got up for my 8 or 9 a.m classes in the morning meaning i basically got no good quality sleep or sleep at all again like i just want to go back and bitch slap my sophomore year self for doing that what was I even thinking? And of course, all that just meant that my body was so deprived of the restoration process that it didn't have energy to spare a period. And then from October 2017 to the end of January 2018, like almost a four months gap, I finally got a period. Before I go into how I got it this time, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so that the algorithm can help push the helpful information to more people in need. So what happened here in 2018 is that I still did not get a period by myself, but this time I went to a Chinese medicine place that prescribed me pills from natural herbs. The herbal pills worked like a charm, but they were so freaking expensive like a thousand dollars per month so i bought two months worth of medicine had my period for two months no problem why i stopped taking it a it was so expensive and not covered by insurance and b i had a pretty bad reaction to the medicine and would get like morning sickness after i stopped taking the medicine i had another period after 43 days and then nothing at all Oh, a big change in my life during this time is that I finally moved into a double with a roommate who was basically sent from heaven. She also had a crappy rooming situation before, so we were basically a perfect match. We would literally go to bed at the same time every day at 10 p.m. <laughs> So after one and a half year of not being able to sleep at UCLA, your girl finally figured out to change her goddamn environment. But by this time, my body was already really destroyed by that one and a half years of insomnia. So this time, after 95 days of not having a period, I went to my school health provider, UCLA Ash Center. They prescribed me birth control pills. Oh my God, such a bad move. This, I am not even kidding, gave me permanent damage to my period system. Like yeah, I was on four months of birth control. It was great when I was on it. My period was spot on each month. The flow was normal too, but once I stopped taking it, not only was my period gone, like wiped out, but my blood test showed that my hormones like estrogen dropped to pre-puberty levels. When I later consulted other doctors, they told me that birth control doesn't actually help your body ovulate and go through a menstruation cycle. It just makes your uterine it just makes your uterine lining shed every month and suppresses your own hormone production. So basically, during the time that I was on birth control, my already non-functioning reproductive system shut down. So if you're gonna take one thing away from this video, don't go on birth control if you're trying to get your period back. You're welcome. So this was already near the end of 2018, my second year of not being able to have my period naturally. And 185 days later, yes, you heard it right, 185 days, six freaking months later in 2019, I was still not having a period. <laughs> so I went to my school's pharmacist, ordered progestin, and had a period after six months oh by the way guys i know all the details of my period like the dates 
the length, the flow because I've been using a period tracker since I was like 13 or 14. And tracking your period is such a good habit to have, especially for any abnormality or issues that you have. You can really track down into the history and data to try to find out the root cause. I'll link some user-friendly period trackers in the description if you don't have one downloaded yet. After 132 days, no sign of period, I was prescribed progestin again. It came. Then nothing 61 days after in october 2019 my body finally started doing something which is so rare i had a bit of spotting on my own so proud and that was it clips table mind you at this time i was cranking for cpa exams in two months while going to the gym almost every single day so my body was under a lot of stress and during this time i did significantly reduce my body fat percentage by controlling my meal portions and doing a ton of resistance and aerobics training although i wasn't starving myself i would say this externally induced stress of cutting down my body fat wasn't the ideal condition for my period to naturally come back either 71 days later nothing so i went to a hospital in china and got my ultrasound and everything again thankfully the ultrasound still looked normal but just no freaking period so i got prescribed for justin again took that got my fourth period in the entirety of 2019 yeah you guys I had a total of four periods only in 2019 <coughs> and two of them were only two days of spotting <coughs> 2020 came and it just didn't get better but don't worry, the story is about to shift soon. All the way from the end of December 2019 to July 2020, had no zero period. What I probably messed up here is that I started living alone for the first time and I just wanted to go low carbs. Like I barely ate any carbs for several months, which I don't think my body liked. There are girls who go on keto and have their menstruation just fine, but girls, be really careful when you're trying to eliminate or reduce something from your current diet because that could really throw your body off of an equilibrium which in my case i wasn't even in an equilibrium to begin with during like the seven months gap i tried taking progestin again but this time that wouldn't even artificially induce a period out of me i was doing acupuncture even during quarantine and i was buying bags and bags of herbs bring them for like hours every day and they taste so so awful nothing would work both chinese medicine and western medicine failed basically i cannot tell you how hopeless i felt ever since i lost my period in 2017 i was so confident that it would be like a temporary thing and i would get it back eventually but three freaking years down the line i was still not able to have a period on my own or a medically induced period so after going through the long list of things i've tried i realized that one thing did work and it was like one of the most natural types super expensive chinese medicine place in la so despite that i have like no income after paying rent in la my health and my period were like non-negotiable so i decided to go back to that place and since then, I am still on this super expensive Chinese herbal medicine that basically eats up my entire income every month. But currently, it is the only thing that still works for me without the harsh side effects of birth control pills and hormone pills. Moral of the story, being healthy saves you money in the long run. Having a regular period saves you tons of stress and money. And this period journey is still ongoing and I'm not just going to rely on this medicine pill forever. Even though that has been helping me get a period every month, but those periods are really short and TMI, the flow is really not that much. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video of the specific things that I am doing to try to regain my period. There's so much to cover and there's so much that I learned over the past four years but essentially while i am taking the herbal medication i'm also trying to live as healthy as i possibly can routinely exercising eating enough calories and different macronutrients eating enough carbs sleeping early using the chinese nutrition philosophies to make dishes that are good for my uterus ovaries etc like my chia pudding thing with dates goji berry astragalus I'm also trying to put on more weight, hoping that it will make it easier for my period to naturally come back. Thanks for bearing with this super long period struggle story. I am not giving up. And if you're on the same boat, let's get our periods back together. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It will really help me out and I'll see you next week. Bye. This is the end.